Hello everybody, it's Hassan 19 and welcome to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord Hotfix Update for October 22nd. Just a nice quick hotfix update that they did with some very important things. I'll run through it very quickly so we can keep this nice and short. So without further ado, let's get to the patch notes. First thing they did was fix an issue of parties without any healthy soldiers existing on the map after battles if an army leader died in a battle. You'd see a lot of times of, of zero soldiers running around in parties and it was happening pretty frequently. Fix the issue of clan warrior troops of Batania having the wrong default sword in captain mode. Fix couch lance bouncing on certain occasions which I've actually had happen and it was really annoying so I had kind of gotten away from that couch lancing. Fixed an asset packaging issue that caused UI icons to show up in the wrong places. I am wondering if they are talking about where things are not supposed to in general or if they're talking about a specific issue because it appeared that in the perks um, area there was stuff that actually appeared out of place which I'll actually get into in just a moment. Missing main map edit data has been re-added to the modding tools, so that will make the modders very happy. Fix the issue of baby siblings names appearing on the inventory menu, which they shouldn't be there until they grow up and get in your party. Fix the issue of the broken perk icon placements for the 300 level perks, which I will go ahead and show you in a moment. Fixed the issue where locking items in the trade screen prevented the take all by all feature from working as intended. This was extremely annoying as if you were to lock an item and that item dropped in battle and you hit the loot or take all, it would not take the item. You had to manually grab it and if you unlocked it, it would unlock both sides. So therefore, if you unlock to take it all, your side would then also be unlocked so you could accidentally sell the item. So that has been fixed. Fixed the issue of health bar of non-heroes being shown on the hideout troop management screen. Um, not a huge issue, but it was a little bit annoying. Replace the gloves of the Oath Sworn Troops of Batania as a temporary fix until model morphing issue is fixed they decided to go ahead and put in a quick fix until they can come up with a permanent solution to it fix the issue of white background texture being shown in the perk trees i actually do not remember seeing that as an issue um it, it might have been a little bit more sporadic but it not something that had occurred to me Fix the crash that occurred when pressing exit to main menu option while in a conversation was active. That was, you know, I've never had that happen either. Um, I have exited to main menu while in a conversation, but it's not something that has happened. Fix the issue of siege engines building too fast, which caused by the sweatshop perk of the steward skill. I did not actually have that perk. However, I had heard about that and some people we're building siege engines really really quickly so all in all when you take this together it's pretty nice now i wanted to touch on one issue not covered in these patch notes and that is the map stuttering i was told that this would be in the next update however there is nothing really in here to show that now from my early experiences after this hot fix I have had a pause. Now, on to the perks. As I mentioned, they ended up moving these trade perks away from the character so you could see the 300 perks. The one perk that was not able to be shown was the trade. And without further ado, traders rejoice. Everything has a price. So it's there. It was moved from 225 to 300, but it is there. And for people that wonders how long it takes to actually hit 300, I will give you a small reference. 
This is a 1,000 day challenge that I did and I am on day 1,000. As you can see, I'm at 278. However, I did not just focus 100% on trading. I did not pour the points into trading as much as I could have from the beginning. I wouldn't be shocked if some people could do it in five, six, seven hundred days. That is the Hotfix patch note update for October 22nd. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would greatly appreciate a like or subscribe to support the channel. I will see you guys next time, and as always, take care, and thanks for watching.